Hello everyone. This is my first YouTube video. My name is Tesla, and I'm a Monotype player on Pokemon Showdown. I've been playing Monotype for about 10 years. I am currently ranked number one on the Monotype Top 500 ladder with an ELO of 1853 and a GXC of 88.9. If you guys don't know me, I primarily play Electric Monotype. I have for the past 10 years. I do dabble in some other types. But when I am streaming, I'm going to be primarily using and um, explaining the moves and EVs and stuff of Electric Pokemon because that's primarily what I've enjoyed playing. Um, however, if you guys are interested, um, you guys can help me uh, pick different types to play and different, different, maybe even different um, meta games. So we'll see. I'm going to be doing some ladder battles for you guys. I'm not going to be playing on my number one ranked account. Um, because each game, finding a game, will take like 20 minutes. So I'm going to be playing on an alt. We're going to be using the alt AM Tesla. I like this alt. It's ranked about 1500 something. So it's going, I'm going to be getting battles, you know, back to back to back. We're not going to have to wait too long, um, but we should be getting some pretty good players. And I think it's a nice uh, starting point to show you guys how you can go from rank 1500 all the way to rank one. We're obviously not going to get rank one in this video. That would be a very long video but I'm going to hopefully in this series take this, this alt AM Tesla from rank 1500 to rank one. So before we get started, I just wanted to let you guys know about my Discord, which is a monotype Discord. Um, we have a lot of uh, different players from all walks of life. If you're interested in learning more about the game, maybe you just are, you know, know a lot about the game and just want to meet like-minded people. Um, this is the place to be. Uh, if you are interested in leagues and joining a league and starting a league um, and challenging a league, um, we are hope we are trying to bring back leagues into the monotype community. They have died for a while. And what I'm trying to do is um, create a league hub that is really easy way, convenient way to find all these disparate leagues from across the Internet, bring them together into one hub and hopefully eventually transition it back to Pokemon Showdown side servers, which used to host all the leagues until they um, got shut down. Uh, but we're hopefully trying to bring back bring, bring back that part of Monotype um, for the community. The side server we are partnered with, you may not have heard of it. It's called Dawn. In order to find that, I'm gonna I'm gonna have the link below as well as the Discord invite um, below as well. But Dawn.psim.us. I did something wrong here. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> My bad. Oh, I, I mean, typing in the right box. Mom, I'm so sorry. All right, cool. So don.psim.us. Um, we uh, actually, the lab, the lab has its own official chat room right here. A lot of people in Don right now. Uh, only 23 people in Don right now. Um, but we we can host tournaments here. Um, speaking of tournaments, we the lab hosts um, a number of events. The current event running right now is actually a $100 um, Monotype winner-take-all tournament. And we plan to host events similar to that with actual cash prizes in the future. And if you're interested in that, please join the Discord. Um, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it so you need to have been in the Discord for a few weeks before you can even enter an event. Because we just want, we don't want to encourage people to you know join for the event and then just immediately leave. We want you, we want people who are parts of this community to be competing in these events. So if you're interested in any of that, uh, check out the Discord, check out the side server, and let's get started laddering. So we're going to use our official electric team, and let's go. And I'll explain my thought processes. I'll explain EVs if it's relevant. I'll explain the move sets, everything. Um, OK, so first match, Quinn. I think I know him. I'm not entirely sure. There's a lot of people named Quinn on the site. Sounds familiar. He uses Fairy. So <clears throat> whenever I battle Fairy, I'm used to the lead against this team, against Electric, being Tapu Blue. So I'm going to go ahead and lead with Magnazone. And you'll see why. It's not, it's Clefkly, so that's even better because we, we now trap this um, with uh, Magnet Pull. So what I like to do in this situation is just completely set up 
uh, bring it down to a low health, and then finally kill it right before the screens it's inevitably going to project here um, wear off. So let's plan for that. Use the spikes. It's fine. We're going to start setting up. Let's do one more. So he has layer spikes now, and here come light screen reflect. Oof, I did a lot. Let's do uh, another iron defense, because again, we want to bring this down. Ah, so he's trapped. Okay. So one more hit will do it. So I'm just going to keep using iron defense until it's about to fall. Cool. I don't mind the reflect being up, so I'm going to wait actually for light screen to fall, not just reflect. He, he might bring up reflect again, and that's that's fine with me. Because I don't really care about light screen. I mean, I reflect that all right now. Okay, just keep doing that. And now we're going to finish it off. Cool. It's most likely going to bring in top Lele, the Focus Blast. Azumarill. I have no idea why he's bringing in Azumarill. No idea. I'm confused. Uh, is this like a Parish song or something set? I don't understand. I mean, I'm I'm obviously I'm used to the belly drum. I'm not sure if that's his plan. I don't know what he's going to do against times four defense, though. What's his flash cannon? I, I'm, I want to see what he has here. Belly drum. OK. <laughs> Great. Do we kill it? Yeah, we do. So he's going to use close combat, most likely. I'm going to protect just to get another turn on this. Um, of this uh, reflect down and see what he has. I think he's going to use close combat knockoff. Strange. I don't know why he sacrificed that. Interesting. Strange sacrifice. I guess he just did one of the throw it away because it's a water type and he was worried that it wouldn't. I was just going to OHKO it later on, I guess. Perhaps. Which makes me think this Tapu Lele. Pff, another strange play. I I think he's going to use uh the ground move. I forgot what it's called. Um not the earth, not earthquake, but the other one. I don't think it'll kill though. So I'm just going to flash cannon. Yeah, high spark, thank you. Yeah, it, it does barely does anything. And now I killed his wind condition. Sorry, that was my cat. <laughs> Mimikyu. Wonder why he's hesitating sending the Lele in. I think this game's over. Unless he crits me. Oh, he crits me. But thanks to Grassy Terrain, I'm going to heal up quite a bit. I'm going to heal up quite a bit. And I'm going to use Protect to get even more healing here. Hopefully he doesn't crit me again. Cool. That's dead. Looks like we're going to maybe not six now, but at least five now. He brings in the thing you should have brought. Turn two. Great. Uh, OK, so what to do? He's either scarfed or he specs. Either way, I'm going to bring in my assault vest mon. This thing's going to tank whatever he throws on me. I'm going to use knockoff just in case he's scarfed. That way I can two it KO him. He is scarf. So he's going to lose his scarf and then he's going to get clobbered and die with the plasma fist. This next Mon is going to try to set up and win. You know, he's desperate. I'm just going to Volt switch away and trick him with choice scarf. And then win the game. Yep. GG. Wow. I'll defog. Just to get rid of those spikes, which are annoying. I think I lived this. Cool. OK, so let's finish them off. Uh, let's do that with rising voltage. I think that'll be the most fun. Just going to sack road in here. Oh, did he quit? OK, cool. So one no. Let's go for let's go for five wins in a row. That'll probably be a, a good time video. 
Cool. All right, we get water. Surprisingly, water is actually a very hard type for me. Like you would think electric has a huge advantage over water. I, I guess it does, um, but not necessarily for my team. Um, although I don't see this being that much of a threat. It's usually the swift swim um, water teams as well as water stall. That's pretty difficult for me. I don't see this being either of those. So I think it's going to be a pretty simple battle. Although a mystic mind is a pretty good player. Um, he's only ranked 1400 right now, but I do remember him being, being a, a, a pretty good mind in the game. So I'm going to be I'm going to play cautiously. Um, I'm expecting obviously, you know, the, the obvious water ground lead Two water grounds won't might make this a little tricky. Let's see. Let's go for the. Yes, OK. Ooh, I just remembered something about this sort of team with the two water grounds. I think this is that the berry that I, it's either two things. It's either one or two things. I think it's the berry that reduces grass damage. And I think he predicted I was going to try to use my grass knot here. And that's why he brought the Swampert in. So I'm not going to take the bait. I'm going to switch right away to Rotom Wash, expecting the Earthquake. Or the Stealth Rock. Either. OK, it was. Cool. OK, so I'm going to try to trick that away. Get rid of that threat. He may read the trick and switch. He doesn't. Let's see. Rocky Helmet. I'm surprised. Although I, I do think it was a safer play because I think this thing is very bulky. Um, so it may have lived the grass knot with like a couple HP, um, which is would not have been good for me. I, I, I need um, Tapu Coco alive. So we're just going to defog. Now, I think this thing is Swift Swim. I would, I would be I would be shocked if it was Water Absorb, right? So I'm just going to Hydro Pump it. I think Hydro Pump will do a decent amount. Oh, interesting. OK, so uh, this is a Swift Swim team. Now, the only thing I have to worry about right now is the. Um, I forgot what it's called, the uh, physical grass move that this thing could learn. Looking at his team, I'm assuming this will be a special mon. If this is physical, this is physical. That's special, but not very strong. This is like a wall. Yeah, this thing's probably not going to be a physical mon. Um, oh, Endeavor. OK, a little cheeky play. Well, it's dead anyway, and it was a huge threat, so. Oh, well. Could have been worse. He's probably going to switch to. Um... So this thing is probably either going to set up on my face or it's scarfed and kill me. Do I need Voltergeist alive? I don't think so. But I, I do want to keep it actually. I do want to keep it uh, just as like a, a ground um, uh, a levitating mon. You know, I, I don't want to I don't want to lose that for no reason. I think I'm going to switch to uh, Zeoria because it can OHKO Tapu Fini with Plasma Fists. Um, if it if it sets up, it's it outspeeds. And even if it attacks, it might be like Spectre or something. Even if it attacks, my Assault Fest will protect me. So I think that's a safe play. Sets up. That's great. So now I can easily hurt this thing. It may try to switch to Swampert. If it does, it's fine. Hopefully he stays in and takes this. He does and he switches to Swampert. OK, that's fine. I'm going to knock off Swampert because the, getting rid of that leftover on Swampert is a huge win. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to not immediately click my move. I'm just going to wait a few seconds so he thinks I'm deciding what to switch to, you know, because switching is the obvious play. So. I just want to make him think I am switching. That way he uses something like Stealth Rock. So now I'm going to knock off. Hopefully that worked. May not have. Oh, did I? Oh, pfft. wait. Oh, yeah, I completely forgot I choiced it. That was stupid of me. That's fine. We're going to win this game. Yeah, if I was smart, I would have uh, realized that. <laughs> I completely forgot I, I put Choice Scarf in. If we can get this thing down to a low health, though, um, I clean up with uh, uh, Regilecki here, so whatever. OK, I'm going to I'm going to get rid of these rocks. Um, they annoy me. I just hate the rocks. They're just. So, they annoy me a lot. Cool. Let's see what he does. Yawn. 
Hmm. I'm tempted to just hydro pump expecting the rocks. Okay. <laughs> I don't care if I'm asleep. Um, he can't really win now because he lost both of his immunities. I think we just kind of clean up. I think what he's going to try to do. Oh, he switches to this. So he's going to try to calm mine, you know, um, that's fine. I'm going to switch. I'm just going to take him out. You'll see how we do that. Cool. Um, let's bolt switch out of here. Oh, wait, wait, wait. actually, I think Thunderbolt 2 KOs. Let me think. Yeah, I think it does. I think it's probably better by Thunderbolt. Oh, okay. Well, we don't need to get to find out. He's dead. Yeah, but it did 2 HKO KO, clearly. Um, the reason I didn't want to Volt Switch is because I don't really want to lose Zapdos yet. It might prove useful versus um, or Shifu and Crawdon. I don't want to switch into Magnezone because he can't do anything. I don't want to switch into Volter guys because he could just set up again. I didn't want to risk losing Richelecki. So I think the Thunderbolt was the better play there. Um, I don't think this thing kills me. Okay, yeah. Oh, it's sashed. Interesting. Okay. He's probably going to Aqua Jet if he has that. Yeah, okay. No worries. I'm going to E-Speed. So he has two choices. Well, one choice, really. He needs to crawl on Aqua Jet and hope it trips or something. <laughs> okay, it brings in Toxapex. I'll just Volt Switch out. I don't want to get this thing any more damage than it needs to. I'll Volt Switch away. Kills it. And I think I win now with Zapdos. Zapdos is my Zapdos is full physical. Def well, it's not full physical. It's um, full defense and full special attack. No HP. What that does, um, actually, I may have switched it. Yeah, I think I did switch it slightly. Uh, I will go over my Zapdos EVs. They're a little weird, but I'll explain. Uh Oh, am I crashing here? Uh Oh, OK, there we go. Oof. I did. Uh, I, I did. Um, I just won. OK. I did change it recently, and I'll explain why. One sec, showdown's a little slow right now. I don't know what's going on. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so I have 34 EVs in HP, 252 in defense. It's modest natured. I put that little HP in there. Um, because that will allow my Zapdos to live a liquidation in the rain from a, um, God, I'm so bad with Pokemon names. Holy shit. Okay, what's the fish called? The the really powerful fish with Swift Swim? You guys know what I'm talking about. It helps it live that liquidation. Um, otherwise, a decent roll could kill it. But this way, I, I don't think it's even possible it dies. I think even if the worst roll happened, I would still live with one HP. I'm pretty sure that's how I EV'd it, how I calc'd it. Cool, so let's go play another game. We have three more games to win. Dragon, okay, so we got a pretty hard matchup. Dragon's, a Dragon's one of the more difficult matches up, match ups for Electric. I would say the hardest matches up, what is wrong with me? I would say the hardest matchups for Electric would be ground, obviously, poison extremely hard to break poison with electric and then dragon you know um technically i would say like stall water is extremely hard but as a general type um dragon would be harder than water so he's going to probably lead with dragalga sometimes they lead with dural lot on either way the play here is to go to zioria puts a lot of offensive pressure can't really do anything okay so i'm gonna knock off it's gonna knock off his um his toxic orb. Uh, cool. Let's do it. Does a decent amount of damage. Knocks off his. Oh, black sludge. That's what I meant to say. Gunk shot. Okay, weird. That's fine. I just want to get damage on this thing, so I'm just gonna keep attacking it because that's great. It's crit's great. Toxic spikes. Fine. I'm not sure. I'm not sure this kills. Do I need to keep Nicola alive? 
I would like to. So a crit does 36%. I'll just do a quick, quick math calc here to see whether um, I should kill unless that critical hit was a was a high was a uh, high roll. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. Cool. Pult is probably going to U-turn. I do want to keep Nicola alive. I do. He's going to U-turn. I think I'm going to go. I can't risk damaging Zapdos right now. Um, I think I'm going to go to Voltergeist because I don't really care about him getting hurt, killed, whatever. That's fine. Totally fine. He may try to set up right now. No, oh, he just kills it. That's fine. Cool. <clears throat> what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go Bon Volta. I'm going to go my nickname. I'm going to go Tapu Coco. And I'm going to put a lot of pressure right now on him um, because he's not going to want to lose Pult. And there's no, really nothing he can switch into and live. So he's going to lose something. I think I kill or I just I barely. Yeah, he barely lives. OK, so I can just finish him off right now. No problem. He's probably going to bring in Hydrigion. Oh, okay, so he, the fact that he didn't bring in Hydrogeon kind of tells me that it's probably uh, Leftovers and not Scarf. He brings in Curum. I have been seeing Scarf Curum more often, which is scary. But most likely he thinks he doesn't realize he's going to die right now. Because if he's not Scarf, I kill him in one hit because most most people don't run Specs Modest. Let's see if it's Scarf. I don't think it is. Yeah, he dies. He probably expected to live that. And because uh, pretty much if I mo most of the time, they're not specs, they're like scarf or they're not or they're not modest and they're timid in either of the situations uh, he would have lived. Um, so he's probably just used to him living that. And that's why he brought him in. So he brings in Polt. He's probably going to use. He can't use um, dragon darts. He's not going to U-turn. He's probably going to. Phantom Force going to kill. Uh, wanting to kill. Um, so I'm going to bring in Nicola just to sack it. U turn. Strange move. It's fine. The U turn, may, it's actually interesting. It makes me think it might be a uh, choice, which is. Um, oh, kind of a weaker version. He brings in Hydrageon. Now, we agree that it's probably not Scarfed, although it could be. Or, uh, yes, it could be. I think this is still the best play. I don't think it is Scarfed based on what he did earlier, so I'm just going to Dazzling Gleam. He, it isn't Scarfed. Okay. So he ran away. Um, now the, now he's going to E-Speed. I, I would tank the E-Speed and kill him, but I don't know if I want to lose Bon Voltage right now because I kind of need him to get rid of Hydrigion. I'm just going to switch to Zapdos. He may even roost. Yeah, OK. All right, so I'm going to discharge. If I can get a pair on Dragonite, that's great. Switches back to Hydrigion. So he's trying to sub. He's trying to sub. OK. What do we do here? Let's think. Um, I think he's going to sub or deep or um, Dark Pulse. I don't really need Regilecki, and I think I live one Dark Pulse. I don't. OK, that's fine. So we're going to go bring in Bon Voltage and put the pressure right back on him. He's probably going to switch the Dragonite. That's fine. I don't think he has E-Speed anymore. I don't think he has it. He would have used it. going to bring in the, uh, yeah, Dragapult. I don't really need Zapdos anymore. Zapdos can't do uh, anything to Hydrogeon. If he U-turns, maybe I get a static off. If he attacks, great. Maybe I get a static? No static. No such luck. That's fine. I can just uh, discharge. Oof. That didn't really matter. It's fine. OK, cool. I think I win now because he has to die. 
Watch it be scarfed all along. No, it's not. Okay, he loses Pult. Um, and I think I win. Cool. GG. That was a close game. I mean, I predicted like almost all of his moves. It's still a close game. Dragon's a very hard matchup against Electric. We're going to start searching for another game since this one's basically over. We're just kind of waiting for him to die. So I'm going to go. We have, I want to play two more games. We get five and out. So I'll start searching. He just left. OK, so we won that one. Three now. If you guys have any specific questions about my team or certain situations, um, I should say I want to talk a little bit about. OK, so we got ice um, real quick. I'm just going to I'm going to expect either a pillow swine lead. Actually, to be honest, usually the lead is Darmanin and Galar. Either way, I almost always lead with Magnuson in the situation because I can either really punish him or I can just kind of, you know, um, switch out. I, I, I'll explain why it's not really a risky lead. But first, let me just say, um, so the the reason I play with electric so often and that that's a pretty big, you know, handicap, I'll admit it's a pretty big handicap because like, for example, I don't tend to do too, too well in tournaments because people, you know, they know what I'm going to bring. They're used to seeing it. They know I'm going to use electric. So I get C teamed a lot in tournaments and I've, you know, tried to diversify myself by learning different types. Um, however, I got to say. I just enjoy playing electric and the, playing this game is not really about winning so much as it is about having fun. Um, I think part of my problem, you know, is I, I'll uh, I'll lean into that comfort, you know, because I'm so used to playing electric and I'm so good at it. Sorry, uh, more humble. I, I'm very good at playing electric and I'm so used to it um, that I sort of lean into that comfort and I am afraid to branch out. Um, and that's absolutely true, you know, that's so why I'll admit that it's it's a it's a weakness of mine and I'm trying to get over it. I have recently in recent months um, for the first time in literally 10 years uh, uh, used other types, which is crazy. I know, um, but still electric playing electric is where my heart is. Um, so that's what I'm going to continue to do. And I will play other types as well, um, but they're just not as fun for me. I got to be honest. I did, I did have fun playing Rock, though, I will admit. Rock is fun. It's just not a very good type in general. Cool, so we're just going to punish him with the Flash Cannon. <laughs> Verde, are you doing the video? <laughs> yes. I don't want to I don't want to say anything. Um, I'll just I'll just tell him. Yeah. OK, so he's probably going to um, either want to get rid of my balloon or he's going to want to do Stealth Rock. All that to say, guys, I know that primarily being a, you know, a one type player is a huge disadvantage, but I just want to remind you guys that if you if you enjoy something, you can get really good at it. You know, I can get rank one of the ladder and I wasn't always getting rank one of the ladder. It it lit it was because I only played electric for so long. I know the ins and outs of my teams better than anyone knows um, their team. This is why I'm so good at um, Blitz Mono. So Blitz Mono is the situation. He just wants to get rid of my balloon. Blitz Mono is, is the type of gameplay where. Um, cool, OK, um, the type of gameplay where you only have like 10 seconds or something to make a move. I, I almost always win Blitz Mono's game, Blitz Mono games, because I just know my team so well. That I can I know the right move before um, before the other opponent even has time to think. So I can make them make a lot of mistakes and I never make will make a mistake. OK, so we have uh, sorry, I'm getting back in this game. I was a little bit unfocused there. We killed this big immunity, which is great. This thing's probably going to flare blitz, uh, but I'm, I'm going to protect <clears throat> earthquake. I'm going to punish him. I don't I think he's scarfed. So I'm going to I'm going to save my electrocutioner, my magnet zone for later. I'm just going to switch to. Oh, I should have. Should have predicted the switch, actually. That's fine. I think this guy's going to try to sub. Um, I hope he subs. If not, it's not the end of the world, but I'm going to trick him to, to trap him into that sub. Ah, we got him. OK, now he's in big trouble. 
Let's bolt switch out of here. Let's kill whatever comes in next. Oh, another thing I wanted to say about the the one playing one type only. You know, I really enjoy playing mind games with my opponents. And when you get to the higher levels, like, you know, the 1700, 1800, let me just move my mic a little bit. Um, 1800. Oh, my goodness. One second. Whoa. OK. My uh, camera is acting weird. OK, so where do you do switch into this? So when you get into the really high um, ELO ladder, playing mind games becomes a lot more relevant because the players will all know each other. They're all friends, essentially, or enemies, but they'll know each other very, very well. They'll, they'll know their teams. They'll know the, the, the ways they play. And what I found is that in order to play mind games with an opponent effectively, It's much easier to do so if you know that they know your team. If you're constantly, you know, being really tricky and constantly changing your sets and confusing the players, well, it's really hard to play mind games with them because you don't, they don't know your moves, so you can't trick them, if that makes sense. Like, you can trick them in the sense that you might catch them off guard with a move they've never seen before, Right. But they're always going to be wary of that. For example. Let me just see if I kill this. Perfect. If I send my Rotom in against an opponent, I know that they know that I have Trick, I have Volt Switch, I have Hydro Pump, I have Defog. So I can plan my next move around the fact that I know they know that. So I, if I have the information they have access to, right, I can kind of manipulate what what um, they are going to do next. So I can force players to switch simply by putting my Rotom in because I can force the switch because they know I have Trick, for example. Like I can force the switch against Low King Galar because they know... Is this thing have Scarf? Yeah, so I'm going to... Mm, I'm going to knock off the Scarf. That way I can 2 KO it. Okay. Uh, when I play a very high ladder against somebody who knows my team, I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, but all that to say, theres I don't think there's necessarily a harm in always playing similar teams, you know, the same sort of teams over and over again and not switching your sets. Um, I think that changes how you play, for sure. But it, it isn't necessarily a disadvantage. You just have to play different. You have to play mind games with your opponent. And I think that's fun. I'm just going to sack Rotom here. Cool. I think we won. I think we're just going to clean up with Regilecki. it's over gg all right last game let me just clean this up finish this up here's another example right not every zapdos uh, one sec. Okay, cool. not every zapdos will have um heat wave right and sometimes Zapdos or sometimes Zapdos will be Specs, Hurricane, or things like that. If you're constantly changing your team, the other the opponent is not going to take any risks. They're not going to assume your specs, right? And so if you're bringing in a Mon and you're trying to force the opponent out with a with your specs hurricane, he's not going to know your specs hurricane. He may play contrary to how you predict simply because he's, he doesn't know your your team. You can choreograph a match very, very, very well if the opponent, if you know what the opponent knows. And that's what I like to do. I like to choreograph my matches. I like to, I like to um, have control of what's happening. Essence Aroma is a very good player. 1562, this is a tough match. Grass is very tough for Electric, obviously. But we're gonna win this game. This is our, our fifth game. I think he's going to lead Celebi.
All right, let's knock off. Oof, 1%. Oh, focus sash. <laughs> Guess it doesn't matter, okay. I wonder if that was a natural 99% um, or if it was because of the focus sash. I don't really know how you tell. Cool, okay, so he'll probably just sack this. So let's just bolt. Oh, good, good. This is a great. Okay, so we, we volt switched out of there. Um, so now we can trap him and get rid of this thing. Yeah. So we now we, we steel trapped him. Um, I like to iron defense to three or four. I If I can get away with it, I'll go four. Three usually kills. <clears throat> and he, if you know three kills and don't go for the fourth one, it's just greedy. Yeah, I'm gonna, ooh, I'll go for the four just in case. Cause now he's at full health. Don't crit. All right, cool. He'll protect now, I think. Did I click body press? Yeah. Okay. Cool, that's dead. Please live, please live. Cool. I like, to, I like him to live cause I can see what's coming next. Um, what Monty sends in. I think he's probably gonna send in either Venusaur or Rillaboom, probably Venusaur. Yeah. See, <laughs> yeah, I play a lot, so. I'm gonna flash cannon. Okay, that's his sacked. All right, so I have a couple of choices. I can choice scarf this, which I don't really wanna do. I can obviously pressure it with Zapdos. This is a very dangerous mon, you know? I think I will do that. I think I will pressure it with Zapdos. He may even stay in and use Sludge Bomb just to just to hurt my Zapdos because he's afraid of my Zapdos. Or he may just go ahead and switch to Cradilly. Oh, it lives. And poison me. Oh, goodness. Oh, OK, we're in trouble. We are in trouble. OK, I can't risk. I can't risk losing Zapdos. Damn, I can't believe I lived. All right, I can't risk losing Zapdos. He's probably gonna Sludge Bomb. I think I'll just switch to Zeoria. Kill it. Don't poison, don't poison, don't poison. All right, good. Good, good, good. Using Knock Off, he'll probably switch to Celebi. Oh, what? Okay, that's fine. I was gonna use Volt Switch just to make sure um, I don't get messed up okay so this thing comes in ooh dangerous i think he's gonna sword stance i think he's gonna sword stance <sighs> i really want to get the para on this guy zapdos i'm not sure he's as useful as i'm making it out to seem i think i'm just going to sack zapdos and hope to get the para when he uses his attack. So I'm gonna go for the Heat Wave. I'm, I'm thinking he's gonna use Grassy Glide. I'm just hoping for that Para. I don't get it. Well, at least we nullify this Grassy Glide, okay? We are in trouble. We are in trouble. That, that, that Hurricane not killing Xen Venusaur is crazy to me. Okay, so Dazzling Gleam won't kill. I'm Volt switching just to, um, I, I don't really care about Voltergeist because it's useless. And now I can kill with Dazzling Gleam. But maybe he knows that, you know, maybe he knows that I'm an, I can kill and he'll switch to Grey Dilly. Let's predict that, shall we? It's fine. Good play. He's gonna bring it back in. He's gonna bring it back in. We are in trouble, fellas. Okay, let's... Let me think. All right.
I really need Zoria alive to deal with Cradle if I want to have a chance. I think I'm just going to E speed to get some damage off. Maybe crit. Okay, that's, that's fine. How much does Volt Switch do? How much does Volt Switch do? Does it do 33? Uh, where was that? 40, right? Yeah, okay. Cool. So I'm going to go ahead and Volt Switch. Oh, if I st if he stays in, I win, but he won't. Okay. So if he goes to Crazy Lily, I can put a lot of pressure on Crazy Lily right now. Game isn't over yet. It's, it's getting there, though. He's probably going to switch to Decidueye. I can't. I just got to attack. I can't be playing games right now. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I have a chance. Kind of. No, I don't. Oh, shit. I do have a chance. I do. Have a, I do have a chance. I have a chance right now. If. If this kills, I, I will win. Oh, shit. Unless it was like Sucker Punch or something crazy. But... No, I'm not going to kill it, though, right? That that would be crazy. Oh, it did a Shadow Snake. Fuck. Okay, and I lose, you know, okay. Well, we tried. Oof, that's that's a lot of damage. GG. It was a tough matchup, it really was. Essence Aroma also knows my team. Um, and I don't really know his team too well. But we got close. I think if if uh, I just would have realized that Venusaur lives a hurricane, I think I would have done better. Um I'll remember that for the next time. William 503. This is a weird team. I very rarely see Electrovire. That's actually pretty dangerous because it probably has motor drive. So I got to be careful about. What I like to do against Mono Electric, a mirror matchup, is I like to lead either with Tapu Koko because they can do pretty much a lot of damage to anything, um, especially since this has no Magna Zone here. Or I like to lead with um, Rotom Wash, if I'm playing a little more passively, I like to kind of see what he's going to do. Um, but I'm going to play aggressive. I'm going to go all aggressive aggressive here. And oh, that was a good lead. That was a good um, play on my part. Uh, getting rid of Ziora is critical if you want to beat Electric in a mirror match. Um, so I can do a lot of damage right now to this thing. Although a little bit less without, without the specs. Yeah, oh shit. Okay. I tanked that pretty well. Play rough. That's fine. 11%. I don't really want to lose Tapu Koko right now. So I think I will switch to Zapdos. I'm going to tank the play rough. Oh, shit. Good play. Good play. Do I need Zapdos? I do. I'm going to... Hmm. This is getting crazy. Let's see how good of a predicts he's probably gonna use knockoff right i don't think he'll plasma fist again that was a great play i don't think he'll plasma fist again i don't really think i need zapdos for anything i don't mind risking i don't mind losing zapdos i don't mind losing yeah he did knock off perfect yeah yeah oh my god i know oh wow that sucks all right man That sucks. Killing that was really important. Very unfortunate. Using E speed. I think he's, if he's smart, he'll switch. Um, if this thing's scarfed, it will be bad. He may just switch back to Ziora. Um, if he's smart, how smart is this guy? Five twenty. Yeah, he's not. Okay, so he loses Tapu Koko. What's he gonna do? Man, if he didn't have Zora right now, it'd be perfect. Electrovire. Interesting. Okay, so I have two options. I could, since I'm without a Zapdos, I feel like I'm a little bit in trouble. He still has Zora. I'm a little scared about that. I could explode right now and get rid of this thing. That might be my best shot. 
Okay, that was that was a sacrifice for sure. But I can't have two Volt Absorbers. I can't be fighting two Volt Absorbers. That's that's really hard. So he's probably going to lead now with Lecky. He may lead with Rotom. Either way, my, my I'm safe to go to Nicola. I outspeed everything. Perfect. Okay. I'm hoping he he doesn't have explosion, or I'm I'm in trouble if he has explosion. He's probably just gonna switch to something. I'm gonna use knockoff. Ancient power. Don't don't get a boost. There we go. Magnet. Cool. Okay. So this thing was useless. Oh shit! Wait. Wait. Why did he use self destruct? That was stupid. Self destruct is a lot weaker than explosion, right? There's no reason for you to use self destruct. Oops. I've never seen that before. 200. Damage. 250. Yeah, I'm going to tell him. I'm like, hey, what the heck? Use explosion over self destruct. Does more damage with no downside. Cool. Uh, I'm going to. Uh, I can't. I wish this thing was dead. I can't lose. Um, Ziora. I mean, he's probably going to switch to Rotom, right? That's fine. Switch to Rotom. Do it. Sweet. Yes. All right, I think we win now. That was a that was a tough game. I hate mirror matches, really I do. Not a fun match to play. I'm gonna use Trick. I don't think I outspeed, but maybe I'll get rid of his leftovers or something. Oh, I do outspeed. Yeah, I got rid of his leftovers. All right, that works. I didn't want to Volt Switch because something will take a lot of damage. I just kind of wanted to sack Rotom, but also do something productive. So that was a good play. So he's going to bring in Zapdos. Not sure what kind of set that's going to be. Um, but what I'm going to, I don't think it's going to be Scarf. It almost never is. It's usually Specs or Leftovers or like rock, uh, high, what's it called? HBD, Heavy Duty Boot. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to uh, Coco. Volt Switch, kind of see where his EVs are, you know, get a feel for that. Probably Sacrifice Zone. And then finish everyone off with Thunderbolt Coco. That's my plan. If you, if I'm gonna turn the timer on because he's not moving. All right, so we we're gonna win five, and we we did lose one against that grass team, so that's unfortunate. But you know, you win some, you lose some, you learn. Watch this thing be scarf and just completely fucking. Oh, so he's specially defensive. That could be a problem. OK, that sack's fine. Uh, let's see. Hopefully he doesn't roost here. You turn strange. Cool. OK, so I think the play is to Damage it with Thunderbolt, and then I think I clean up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I clean up with them. Um... Oof, I'm actually in trouble, aren't I? Oh my god, that's also specially defensive? Oof. Okay, I have to clean up now. I have to kill everything. I think I do. I think I do kill everything. Okay, and this should also die, I'm pretty sure. That was a close game. <sighs> Do I kill this? I think so. Whew. Man, that was close. All right, that was a good way to finish the video. <laughs> All right, guys, well, thanks for watching. Um, We'll see how this video does. Um, I'll probably do more in the future. Maybe I'll do a tournament. I'll do probably more laddering. I'm thinking about streaming. I think that would be more fun for me to stream because then I can interact with like, you know, an audience. The only issue is that I know with streaming, 
there's going to be a lot of risk of ladder sniping. So I'm going to have to sort of be creative, maybe, and think of a way to get around that. Because not even using like the highest um, lag or latency, I should call it, really works necessarily. So I'll think about that and we'll see. We'll see how we'll see whether I stream next or make another video. But I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, let me know how I did. Let me know if you guys want to see more and I'll see you next time. Bye.